name are David Stern and John Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kimbe Matumbo. defense player to ever play this game. I like to think that I accomplished that. The gentleman on my right means so much to me. Coach John Thompson. I learned a lot under Coach Thompson. I learned about the game of basketball, but most importantly, I learned how to be a man in this society. He's really a father figure to all of us who got a chance to play for him at the Georgetown University. Delver Stern. I want to thank Delver for the NBA Global Vision of not only growing the game, but the league commitment to improving communities all over around the world. As we call it, NBA Cares. I also want to thank him for the opportunity to carry out my life mission as the NBA first ever global ambassador, which I continue to do under the commission of Adam Silver. We were in South Africa recently, and the game continued to grow in popularity. The NBA support in the home continent of Africa means a great deal to me, and to see a current and former players like Akim Alajuan and coaches giving back and making a difference in the people's lives uplifting us all. I give God the glory for blessing me and surrounding me with so many wonderful people. This is including, first of all, my parents, Samuel Mutombo, who left us two years ago, and my mother, Biamba Marie Mutombo. Who inspired me to look at the world with love and kindness. I wish they have a chance to see the sun becoming all of them. As you saw in the video, I have, worn, I have worn many uniforms, yet the one constant has been the wonderful coaches and teammates along my NBA journey. From the Denver, I want to thank my former coaches, Paul Wessel, who helped me becoming an all-star in my rookie season and then Iso, who gave us their lifting speech before Game 3 of the 1994 Seattle series that changed the NBA playoff history. Bernie Bickerstaff was the only smart NBA GM who believed in me on the draft day. Thank you. And the Nugget owners, Peter Barnos and Charlie Lyons, thank you so much for drafting me. From the Atlanta Hawks, in a city that I call home, I want to thank Stan Caston, Peter Babka, the legend, Lenny Watkins, and the great teammates. <laughs> and 
and my great teammate, Steve Smith. In Philadelphia, Larry Brown, LB as we call him, thank you for bringing me to Philadelphia. And allowing me to play with the phenomenal Allen Iverson, who will stand here soon in Springfield. In Houston, I want to thank the owner, Mr. Lexi Alexander, and the team president, Ted Brown, for bringing me there and the opportunity to play alongside with Yao Ming, one of my best friends, and Tracy McGrady. The Rockets did a lot for me and the foundation. I could have not get the hospital going without their help and the wonderful people there, like the Lord and the Lowell families. Coach Jeff Van Gandhi saw that I still have a lot of fire left in me to be productive and be a good mentor for younger players. I want to thank all of my teammates who have helped me along this way. Patrick Ewing, you are such a great brother, friend, and a great leader to me. You took a lot of money and I under your wing and mentored us from daily workout to a life lesson. I thank you so much and I love you for being my brother. A lot of money. You helped me becoming a better basketball player. I wish that many young people today can compete in practice like we did. Thank you so much, my brother. I always thank my oldest brother, Ilo Mutombo, for taking me to the basketball court at the age of 17 for the first time when I didn't want to go. Thanks to my cousins, Dr. Lewis and Mimi Kanda for the love and the support since I arrived in the U.S. and my agent, David Falk, for his great advice. And I'm proud that I was only the third African player to play in the NBA. The son of Congo, DRC, to, to come to the U.S with nothing, and now I'm part of the NBA history. Yeah. It means a lot to me. I want to dedicate this honor to my lovely wife, Rose Mutombo. The mother of my three beautiful children, my daughter, Kelly, my middle man, John Jack, and my little boy, Ryan, who's always there to give me a support. I love you guys so much. Playing basketball allowed me to become a global citizen. It's because of the game that I was able to build the hospital in the Democratic Republic of Congo which is now served more than 140,000 people. <laughs> My life mission is to continue to change the living condition of the people in Africa. I might have not won the championship, but I'm a champion to so many people. Thank you so much. God bless you.